It's a big game. Ooh, getting exciting, chat. Getting exciting. Dr. Crampy Hands goes to Illinois. So who do you want who do you want to win this game? Are you voting for pulling for the upset here? Ooh, we get a recovered fumble. Illinois getting sloppy. Lovey Smith, get your boys in order. Will your Cowboys suck a rule? Well, you'll just have to wait for deep dive series, my friend. Oh, fumbled. I'll play the next possession here. What is this blurb business about? The blurbs are... Uh, are the player bios from my draft board. Normally, people have to get Patreon to get them, but if they spend channel points, they can get a single player red. But I put a 10 minute timer on it because in the first stream, people went nuts. Oh, I gotta put, um, someone in the chat remind me after this game to flip McDougal, Dion Mustard McDougal into the slot and get Jonah Bell that outside spot. Lucky to get rid of that. Jeez, they had that covered up well. Hundred K channel points for a deep dive guest? Nah, I gotta. I can't commit to anything like that. That's that's not something I can offer for, for channel points. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, Mav. Appreciate it. Now right, we got Jonah Bell. Maybe cover two here. Split that. I just gambled that it was cover two, and it just was not. Like, that was just bad overall play by me. I couldn't see, to my credit, because the camera angle cut off. I guess we're watching this punt on accident. I was just taking a full-on gamble that it was cover two, and I could hit that whole shot, and, uh, yeah, bad gamble. John LaDuca, 129 gifted subs. Absolutely incredible. Hundred K channel points gets a conversation with me. I might make like a certain donation amount gets a conversation with me. But that's that's kind of a. I don't know. I don't know if I want to cross my supporters with content because that can get. Not that I don't trust you guys, I definitely do, and I like to involve you guys when I can. But that can be that's a that's a pretty dangerous slope. Next change of possession. Jeez. All right, we gotta we gotta focus. We gotta get some. Maybe some sort of a Discord, like exclusive Discord server or something would be cool. Oh, go Jacobs! Go Jacobs! Give me a block! Let's go! He gone. Isaiah freaking Jacobs. That was nice. That was a beautiful run. Okay, let's see if the defense can... There we go. It's just like the Wisconsin game. We're gonna go, we're gonna go, like, to the fourth quarter here. See if we get a stop. Ugh, go offense. Do something. Oh, no. Go. Need points. What are we doing? Okay, we're driving. Finish it. Let's go. Okay. So. Ah, uh, we needed a stop there, D. Brutal. I guess I'll just play this drive and we can play the final two minutes. But, I mean, our defense just didn't have it today. Crap. 
Oh my god, Isaiah Jacobs. Are you serious? That was nasty. I do, no way, DJ. I do remember that you are Cowboys rule. I got you, my man. Process that slow. Run. Fourth quarter. Ah. Gonna be kind of a miracle if we pull this one out. Nice catch. Beautiful throw by the freshman. Yeah, I think we gotta put the we gotta put the John LaDuca sponsorship thing back up there after he's gifted like 40 subs today. Dude, Isaiah Jacobs is looking good this year. It's a nice looking drive. We just need the sim gods to give us a favor if we can finish this. Lots of football left, so it's not over. I'm in the zone right now. Just run straight and fast, Bell. Maybe not the right place for it. Dion Mustard McDougal, though, moving the sticks. Right in this thing. Go for two, maybe? Make it a, yeah. Hakeem Jarrett's been quiet. Oh, hold on to it. Defense has got to come up with a stop. We can play in the final two minutes. I'm adding that. Integration and ooh, Purdue and Penn State. What a battle. <laughs> Dr. Crampy Hands is happy about it. Come on, defense, do something with your life. You gotta be kidding me. Like, we didn't even have a chance with this. 42 points? Go score. What are we doing? Get me out of here. We just got blown out. Nothing I could have done differently. Just wasn't going to be, just wasn't going to happen today. Ridiculous. Illinois just showing up. Quarterback went off. I'm disappointed in how our defense played today. That's not that's not Terrapin football right there. We need a we need Jim Mora to come in and save the day here. Holy crap! I don't know who the hell we think when we are when we do something like that. Unbelievable. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let him off the hook. That's pitiful. I mean, it's absolutely pitiful to, to perform like that. Pitiful. Playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. 
You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. We th we've thrown four interceptions for touchdowns this year. That might be an NFL record. Coach is not happy. Coach is not happy, right, Teddy? Dad, let me sleep. A blurb. Who do you want, cinnamon rolls? Five letters here, just for everybody out there in Packerland and yourself today. R E L A. Josh Myers. Okay. Relax. Center from. We're gonna be okay. So Josh Myers is center number five. Pretty short blurb. The lineman blurbs aren't quite as long usually. Myers is a tough, smart center who can struggle to generate power from his upper body. His technique is sound. His get-off and ability to climb to the second level is quick. And he is a solid anchor and quick footwork and pass pro. His play strength and overall physical upside is the question. He's a two-year starter at Ohio State and is a good bet to... Also, I said Georgia. He's the Ohio State guy. I'm thinking of Trey Hill. Um, so sorry for the confusion there. Uh, but he's a two-year starter at Ohio State and is a good bet to compete for a starting role sooner rather than later. So he's just a little bit lighter in his upper half. Doesn't always use his arms as well as he could. Next, Billy Price. Well, I don't think he'll go in the first round, so he's got that going for him. How would you feel about being the Niners GM with John LaDuca as your owner? Just unlimited funds, apparently. Will Herbert be a top five QB? I don't think it's very likely, but he, he technically could. He's, I mean, he's, there's no reason he can't. I just, I don't know. I still like the Stafford count for him. I'm excited to see what he looks like in year two. Recruiting has been pretty straightforward this year. Not a whole lot of controversy. Seven K, twelve K, Brandon's got a hundred and one K, Jazzers twenty five K. All right. It's about what I was thinking. Rough loss, rough loss. Ah. We get a bye week to kind of reset, and then we play Iowa, which I am gonna, I'm gonna do another three game or a three driver here against Iowa, and then we'll be out of those, and then we're gonna play Penn State, Ohio State, and of course Michigan Week Nine. I think I'm gonna try to get to that Michigan game. For the last game of the stream because that's going to be pretty epic and it's a recruiting week so if we can pull that upset off I we actually fell out of being ranked even though illinois is 4-0 they're probably ranked now let's check out the recruiting pretty sure everyone everyone we lost is irrelevant E oh, oh yeah, we got our fullback. We weren't even recruiting this guy or this guy, so we're good. Gucci. Now we can technically add two more players if we decide to. I want to take a look. That's like next week we can do that. Ryan James is going to cut everyone off. Let's bump this guard up for a week. Got a few more guys ready for a visit. Does this guy have us? Oh, this guy likes us. We might as well find some points for this guy. I mean, he, he's barely getting touched. Let's have him in, let's have him in this week.
Fred Freeman. Do we even want this dude? We haven't scouted him. Jeez, we haven't even touched this guy and he wants to come to our program. I mean, that's pretty clutch. Might have to offer up some scholarships next week. Spencer asked, what is Donald's upside? Upside's a funny question, but I think he can be a top, like he has the physical talent to be a top 10 quarterback, but I'm not going to get ahead of myself there. Let's just see him be like a starting caliber player first, and then we'll start talking about Donald's upside, but he's got to slow, slow down his game. All right, big game against Iowa. Can't have a repeat from this defense of what happened against Illinois. That was straight embarrassing. Has my stance on Watson trade uh, changed? Well, my stance about a week ago was I don't see him getting traded, and let's see how this whole mumbo-jumbo plays out. And that hasn't really changed. I definitely don't think we see him get traded this, this summer. There's no way. There's no way anyone's trading for him before the draft, and then after the draft, everyone's already got their plan. LaDuke is putting together his staff for the 49ers after he buys the team. It's going to be fun, guys. We're all going to run the we're all going to run that te that program into the not into the ground. What's the opposite of running it into the ground? Building a dynasty, I guess. Do I think Watson spends time in jail? Ooh, I I don't have all the facts. I I think jail is a little unlikely. I don't know if what he's doing is I guess I'm not the best person to answer that. I don't think that's very likely he spends time in jail, but I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up getting like suspended for the year or something crazy. I don't know. I I'm not the mo I'm not gonna act like I'm. Mike 34, Mike 34. Two, two, two. Ooh, our quarterback JB Beard is a star now. Oh, Jarrett went to get it. Let's go, Rakeem. Lisa B is going to be in, in charge of the vendor selection for the stadium. That is a thing. That is absolutely a thing. I think they call that purchasing manager, I believe, is what that role would be. Lisa B, you'd make a great purchasing manager. You just go around San Francisco, try out. Oh, no. What am I doing? I thought he was going to sit down right there, and he absolutely did not. Yikes. All right, come on defense I did kind of set you up to fail there get a freaking drive oh, brutal. brutal 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 get a stop okay we settled down we th we've thrown four interceptions for touchdowns this year that might be an NFL record we got 32 yards but we can bounce back they're bringing those safeties oh, we got the press we could get right back into it if that safety is coming down. Uh, I don't love it. I didn't want to force it. I gotta convert this. I have got to get this. <sighs> Not playing well tonight. Not playing well enough, that's for damn sure. Need the team to step it up. 21 nothing. Go!
I mean, the simulation's not doing us any favors. They're not moving the ball at all. This is embarrassing. We have like 10 yards of offense today. Now the defense wants to play. And the offense can't do anything. Seriously? What the hell? We have 185 yards, chat. It didn't matter how well I played. We were going to get our ass beat anyway. Oh. Almost doubled our yardage on that play. What's up, Nick Flames? at least get a freaking drive together here. Now, keep in mind, we do have a freshman quarterback, so we shouldn't have expected to win a national championship this year anyway. I always screw it up on that route combination. I always think he's running a comeback, but I think the comeback's on the other side. Thanks for the follow. Side cards. Oh, let's go. What a play. Kuchki. Leo Kuchki. What a play from the quarterback. Breaking the tackle in the pocket. That was nice. All right. We're going to lose now, but at least we got something out of this game. Of course, we go 21 unanswered. Whoo, you're right, Panda. 10 and 2 is not bad, but we got to play better. We have got to figure some stuff out. And technically, nine wins. Nine wins is uh, an upgrade. It's the next step up. We've gone six, seven, eight, nine. That'd be probably our, our goal for the year would be nine wins. Nick Flames, I, I ran through the Donald trade earlier, but I'll also be talking about it on tomorrow's podcast on YouTube. So if you want to hold out for that. All right, we got a blurb. Who do you... Who do you want? Who you want? Who you want? Not not the best game from JB Beard. Najee Harris. Wait, yeah, okay. Going the running back route. Leo Kuski, what a play. <laughs> Nick Sturgis redeemed the thoughts to get my thoughts on the Thoughts King. That is like inception. Man, our interceptions this year, defense is Christian Nagel's been sweet. I like that. All right, let's get the Najee Harris blurb. Harris is a freak of a back with outlandish quickness for such a big back. He has impressive vision as well, which paired with his jump cut ability and power make his constant big play threat as a runner without a ton of negative, make him a constant big play threat without a ton of negative runs. Let me fix that typo. His stiff arm is just unfair. He lands it well. Harris also has remarkable hands and even channels his quickness into his routes to separate quick and often. He does enter the NFL a senior with about 700 career touches, but he has the frame that injury and longevity is unlikely to be a problem. Harris is about as close to a can't-miss prospect as they come. 
very little not to like about Najee Harris. There's nothing not to like about Najee Harris, to be honest, other than the position he plays. So we got week eight game against Navy. Gonna be simming that one. If we lose to Navy, I swear to God. And then it's the big match against Michigan. Harris or Jacobs as a prospect. Oh man, they're actually very close. They're actually very, very close. I probably will go Harris, but they're very tight. I think either of them would be the number one back in last year's class. Do I think Christian McCaffrey is the best running back in the NFL and healthy? I don't really have a strong opinion on who the best running back in the NFL is because they're so stylistically different. I honestly think it's like a tie between McCaffrey, Kamara, Cook, Henry. They're just, they're all so different. I think it's those four though. And then I, I really think Saquon, if he wasn't on the fucking Giants, would have a chance. But unfortunately, he is on the fucking Giants. So what were the thoughts on Panda? Look, Panda's a real one. Slight, slight obsession with wanting to know my opinions on very random players that will probably never play in the league. Wouldn't be my go-to obsession, but to each his own. James Davis. Uh-oh, did he block us out? Oh, we ran out of points. I'm glad I saved that coach upgrade because we're actually going to need these points. We're actually going to have some uh, redistributing of our points to do here. I don't know if we're going to have room to add. We will add, but... We gotta focus on the guys we're getting. There you go, Panda. Channeling that uh, work ethic into into the right causes, I can see. So it is week eight, which means we are allowed to add a couple commits or recruits, rather. First off, we gotta redistribute our priorities here. So Ole Miss creeping up hard with Kenneth Atkins. We'll stay 500. We could probably drop this down a little bit. Ryan James is, he's good. He's gonna commit after the Michigan game. So I'm gonna steal like all these points. He's, he's coming, he's coming to Maryland. Banks is pretty good, but we'll take some points there. Probably take a few points here. He's coming in. Actually, he's, yeah, he's visiting Bowling Green this week, so we'll keep that pretty high. I can probably reduce this a little bit. Let's just see if these guys are any good. Eh. Probably take a few of these guys off. so we don't freak out when they commit somewhere else. This is the guy I wanted to send a scholarship to. He's a 72 overall, he's gonna commit to us. We haven't spent a single point on him. Yeah, this guy locked us out, that's fine. I wasn't focusing on him. Four guys ready for a visit. Looks like Michigan lost. They're ranked 10th. So we got 
like t almost 300 points to add some dudes here. Let's see what what stands out. A cornerback from Kentucky with 432 speed. Definitely going to add him. And then are there any guys from North Carolina I'm thinking either this dude or if there's any tight ends yeah no, let's add the let's add the outside linebacker That's right, Panda. We've got your back. I'm going to slide these dudes up. find some more points for them next week but for now we'll leave it there okay we gotta start winning some games so these commits come in I swear to god if we lose to Navy I'm gonna be very sad I'm gonna be a very sad TFG they're four and two We gotta sim it. We gotta sim it, chat. Cause next week is Michigan week. Don't lose to Navy. Woo! All right, back in the W column. How far does Phillips actually far? Could he leave day two? Day leaving day like falling out of the third round like someone not using a compensatory pick on him would be a pretty big shock to be honest. But uh, I could see I could see third round. I don't know if that's likely, but I'm not gonna be like anything after the third round though. I'd be very surprised. I just don't have his medical, so I don't know, right? Nick Flames asked if I'd be surprised if the Panthers made it in as a wild card this year. Ooh. You know, seven teams do make it. So surprised is a strong word, but yeah, I'd be I'd be surprised. Alright, Teddy, you wanna go see you wanna get off the say goodbye to the chat and then we'll say goodbye to the chat. Say bye. Say bye. All right. He's ready to get off the desk. Man, no one's committed yet. Looks like we lost that D end of Bowling Green, really? Oh well, we'll survive. Bowling Green always stealing from us. We are ranked 24th. Let's take a look at these uh, recruiting points because we lost a lot of points here. What happened? I guess there's all that DN. TJ Bryant. Bummer. Where did these other points go this dude locked us out well let's get back in the game do we not have a lockout to use yeah we do our two commits are fullbacks you gotta love it 
huge recruiting week here, guys. Absolutely huge. We're going to get a lot of commits this week. Let's even these dudes out, and that'll be pretty good. I don't even really care about these dudes. We'll get them in against Penn State. I'm nervous. I gotta, I gotta get in the zone. We gotta beat Michigan. Definitely Nick Flames. Definitely gonna get Zach on the show at some point. I would not sweat it. I think.